All right, what's up, guys? This is Ninja Deathstrike bringing you another Pokemon TCGO battle. The deck I'm using today is the Eel Eel deck that is the deck to beat right now. It won like all the states. Um, so I've been testing it out. It's I definitely still like CMT better, but I figured I should probably be decent with this one too, since I think this one probably has a better future than uh, poor old CMT does. So anyhow, I'm going to mulligan once, and then I get a Tyrogue and two Mewtwo's to start. So as much as I don't want to drop that Mewtwo, I know that I better just because I don't want to get donked on the first turn. So hopefully it's not going to come back to bite me too badly. Uh, I do win the opening coin toss, so that is great. And you can see right there in my hand, I do have a Collector. Uh, I really like Collector in this deck just because you need more than one thing like i know a lot of people have switched over to dual ball because it's faster but for me personally i i like collector um that's just just what i like so you can see there i had the smear goal um that does help offset the collector a good bit since i can you know collect it for smear goal and then use portrait to get a new hand anyhow so i think they pair really well together but i actually opt to go for the thunderous just because i see he has that lone skarmory there on the bench and uh i can threaten a turn two disaster bolt and a knockout so there really wasn't a need to to go for the smear goal there since i have the oak i'll be fine next turn to get into a new hand and uh i'll just go ahead and spoil things a little bit now this match is not the closest but it is a great object lesson object lesson about why you do not try to build an entire deck around scissor prime uh, i just posted my my take on the scissor deck and you know this is the other option that some people have gone with but you'll see right here it just can't stack up to uh, a lot of the decks because this guy's got good cards it just his deck it, it doesn't work scissor doesn't work by itself it needs to be a uh, an auxiliary and not your main focus of your deck or it's just going to fall apart so he comes there for a scyther um that's mistake number one he tips his hand to me right away that he's running scissor prime uh so that obviously is going to mean when i get dces uh i only need to attach them if i'm going to be discarding them on that turn that way i can prevent scissor from locking me out of attacking so i draw into my third me too there and i just play the professor oak i definitely don't want to drop another one and uh, he makes a really good move with the catcher early again having that mewtwo on the bench kind of biting me in the butt a little bit um i don't have a way to get it out of the active spot this turn so i'm just going to catch her in his scyther uh just so he can't stack energies on it and you know it, it's not going to do a whole lot it'll make him waste an energy if he wants to get back but i just kind of wanted to stall for a turn so he plays a dual ball. I think he got one heads, and I believe he's going to get a clink with that. Yeah, so uh, the the theme of his deck is to use Skarmory to accelerate the steel energies and then uh, have clink clink set up to move them around, keep your scissors attacking for how much they need to be, and kind of conserve it as they get knocked out. So he's just going to attach and retreat into Cleffa here, go for an eek, uh, which is a good call on his part. Um as you can see, I'm setting up pretty slowly here. This is what, turn three? Haven't gotten an attack off yet. Uh, basically unacceptable by today's game standards, but what can you do? So I get a heads here. I'm gonna, I think I do, yeah, I get that other Tynemo, and you'll see, I, you notice that I play mostly the 40 HP Tynemo. I have one of the 30. I play 3-1 in this deck, and the reason for that is because I actually play Skyra Bridge. Again, it really helps out Smeargle, uh, helps out Thunderous, and since I'm already playing Skyra Bridge, there's no reason not to play the 40 HP ones. I can retreat for free when Skyra is up, and they don't get uh, knocked out by Tyrogue, who's definitely gaining some steam. So uh, I kept one in there just to have an extra free retreater if I needed him, but I really think the 41 is probably safer. Uh, but it, it can slow you down a little bit, which kind of sucks. Uh, at the time, yeah, I just couldn't really get into a Skyro is actually what's going on. I, I don't have any switches. Um, I would love to have a switch in here, but I just I couldn't fit it. This, this list is so tight. I didn't know what to cut for it. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of undoing here, thinking about 
what I wanted to do was catch her out that something on his bench and kill it, but then I realized that I can't actually do that with Me Too, uh, and unless Me Too is retreated because I needed that energy in the discard pile, so uh, I just cancel that and take the prize on Cleffa with a mischievous punch and uh, get another Tynamo, which I definitely don't need. So he is going to promote Skarmory again, continue to try to set up his bench. Uh, I think, yeah, he evolves into Clang here, and then I think he gets two special metal, metal energies on it, so it looks like he's actually going to try to attack with, with Kling Clang, which is an odd choice. Uh, clearly this deck is built to help si to help Scissor out. Um, so I don't know what what made him decide that he wanted to go with Kling Clang instead, but yeah, he attaches to it there and then he's gonna use uh, Skarmory's Steel Coat, maybe that's the name of the attack, to put another special metal energy on him. And uh, yeah, so he's turning to, to power that up, which is a little odd. Obviously it means that I want to take that thing out because not only will it take out his energy manipulation, it's going to take out all the energy he has in play too. Uh, unfortunately, it's got two special metal on it right now, which I didn't realize. I thought it only had one, so I actually set up here to um, take it out with a disaster bolt, only to realize that it actually has effectively 100 HP. Uh, so I'm going to get myself into a little bit of trouble. Here, I'm going to retreat. I will junk arm for the catcher to drag it up. Obviously, I'm not going to need that fourth Tynamo, and I don't need the collector anymore, so that's an easy choice to get rid of that. Grab my catcher, drag him up, and or actually, I check right here. What happens is I check right here. I realize, oh, I can't kill it this turn, so I'm like, okay, well, then I'll just kill Scyther instead because obviously I want to take a prize this turn to keep the pressure on him. So, since I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the Clang, I grab the Scyther instead. And then I go ahead and play the Professor Oak, hoping to get another Eel or a level ball here. And what I actually get is my second plus power and my other catcher. I only run two plus powers. I happen to draw into them both. And hey, look at that. I got another catcher. So, I was just finished what I set out to do in the first place and kill this Clang with a beefed up Disaster Bolt. And uh, that'll take him out, take down two of his special medals. So he's only got two left. I think one of them is on that Scyther. And uh, yeah, once I get all those taken out, I won't have to deal with them anymore, which will be really good. So Skarmory comes back up. He's going to catch her out my eel, I think, just trying to stall for a couple turns while he sets up, which again is the right play. You know, he's making pretty good decisions. It's just his deck can't really keep up. Uh, so yeah, he's going to try to stall me out here, but since I have that DCE in my hand, and since I know DCE is, is basically going to be a dead card, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to Electric, and that'll allow him to get out of there. And what's he doing? He oaked, I guess. Then he is going to attach an energy to his other Skarmory, I believe. Uh, why he is not powering up those scythers, I have no idea. I guess he's, I guess he's waiting for me to play down the DCEs. Uh, maybe I'm not really sure, but like I said, I'm gonna play the DCE on electric just to let him retreat, since I don't have any other use for it. Uh, I can go into thunderous, and I have a junk arm, so I have an option for a catcher prize here. But I decide just to end instead. I'm okay. I can kill this Skarmory no problem. Uh, and I don't really see the need to kill anything on the bench. I suppose I could have taken out that Clink. But whatever. Uh, I don't think it mattered a whole lot. Unfortunately, that end definitely hurt me. Uh, luckily, luckily, I get the Oak off of the prizes. But I played the end just because I figured this would probably be the last turn. It's really going to be useful for me at all. Once I get down to three prizes, it's not going to be any good, and I don't want to draw into it later, so I thought I would be safe to go ahead and use it there, but actually could have could have stuck myself with a pretty bad hand if I hadn't gotten the oak off of that prizes. So that was a risk that really didn't pan out. And uh, on top of that, I gave him two Scissor Prime when he shoveled his hand and a twin, so 
that uh that backfired big time. <laughs> Uh, if I were him, I would definitely get a catcher here, probably a catcher and another twins, maybe. Um, I don't know if he's got enough energy on either of those scythers to start attacking. If he does, if he doesn't, I'd get, I'd get a catcher and an energy and, you know, start doing something, take a prize, uh, at least knock out one of my other Tynamos, try to, try to stick me with just one. But since you don't get to see what they grab with twins, we'll never know. He's going to attach a steel energy manually to scissor over there. And then let's see what he does. He actually put a special metal on this Skarmory, which was a really bad idea. Um, because he's going to, he's kind of stuck there. And then he, he attaches to the one and then he uses the attack to put it onto the other. So... I guess he's powering up both of them. I'm not really sure what's going on there. You can see I chose to Dynamotor onto my electric uh, just to help with the catcher situation again. If it gets taken down, or if I get catchered again, you know, I want to be able to get out. Uh, so that's why I did that. And then I get another electric. Unfortunately, I don't have any energy in my discard pile. I really need to start attacking with Thunderous so I can get some more energy in there. It's all kind of stuck on my field right now. So I check and see what's going on. One scissors uh, ready to go. I guess that's why he chose to attach to the other one with the steel coat. But uh, what am I? I guess I'm junk arming um, for a catcher. Oh, then I decided. Oh, right. I have that lightning energy. So obviously I want to discard that with a junk arm. So uh, I undo it. Go ahead. Get rid of the super rod. Doesn't look like I'm going to need it this game since I've already got two eels up and uh, just put the electric energy into the discard because that'll allow me to dynamotor it this turn and I just put it on the other eel so that I can hopefully get them out if they get catchered up but again I'm kind of without a supporter which sucks and uh, now collector is kind of being a pain in my butt because it could, that could have been you know something else a poke gear or a dual ball something that might have helped me out a little bit more here but I'm okay at this point to play the board. I've got two eels up, uh, got some energies. I'm really just kind of lacking on attackers, uh, potentially. I mean, it doesn't look like anything he has is going to be able to one-hit KO me anyhow, so I shouldn't need an attacker anytime soon, and I do have that collector just in case. So I think, what do I do here? I actually think I end up getting rid of the collector. Um, I can attach to Mewtwo with the Dynamotor from the last turn, and then uh, what I think I end up doing is actually discarding that Sky Arrow with a Junk Arm. I'm going to go ahead and Junk Arm away the Pokemon Collector and the Sky Arrow. A little bit risky, definitely, to get rid of the Collector, but I only have two prizes left, and I have an untouched Mewtwo. So I'm pretty sure he should be able to take at least one prize, even against a type that resists him. And uh, I don't have any other options. I can't kill this Scyther here, so I may as well get a prize on something that I can. So with um, that being the plan, I go ahead and Junk Arm, grab the Clink. I'm going to attach this DCE. That'll let me Disaster Bolt one more time. And uh, I'm just going to discard it just in case. Uh, I don't know, he catches out something else, and I don't want that Thunderous to have the DCE stuck on it. Just on the off chance that I get a turn to Disaster Bolt again, I want to be able to hit Scyther. So, yeah, it's uh, it's 5-1, to one, you know. he's He just he hasn't really been able to get anything going uh, because his deck just relies on stacking energy with... Skarmory, um, it's too slow. It's not going to be able to do enough. Uh, yeah, it blocks the special energies, but you know people are going to be able to play around that, and that's what you have to keep in mind with Scissor. Uh, people will play around it unless they're really stupid or you you trap them perfectly to the point where they can't. Uh, and that's just what I did. You know, I, as soon as I saw that Scyther, I know I needed to be careful with the DCEs and. I just didn't have to use him. Uh, obviously, with CMT, he'd have a, a lot better of a matchup because they can't manipulate their energy like the Eels can. 
they don't play around it as easily, but I do a quick calc here with Mewtwo math. I figure out I do have enough to take him out, even with the special metal and the resistance. Uh, having five or six energies on Mewtwo is going to be enough to hit him for 110. Take my last prize. So there you go. That's going to be the match. Uh, you know, leave me a comment, thumbs up if you liked it. I do have a better match in store that I'll get to sometime later this week, but I wanted to post this one just so you can see kind of the other way to go with scissor and why it doesn't work. So hope it was informative. Stay tuned, guys. I'll have more coming away shortly. Thanks.